Oh, it's been good. Just getting prepared, um, getting in my playbook, um, working hard in the weight room, and yeah, just getting ready with the guys. Go back this point last year to now, what's the biggest difference to you? Um, I'd say mentally, um, understanding what we're doing, uh, not just understanding what I'm doing, but understanding what's going on in the backfield. Um, just kind of getting a hold, like mentally, just it's, it's grown. So. Who's helped you with this transition? I'm sure Jonah's been helpful. Yeah, I'd say uh, Coach Henson and Coach Crabtree. Um, Every, everybody up to Coach Riley, um, but I'd say the main person is uh, Jonah. Um, he played left tackle obviously last year, so having him to just ask questions, um, things on, things off the field, everything, and having him there, it's been it's been huge for me. And just what are your emotions heading into the season? I'm sure excitement, but are there nerves? And, and anxious just what, what are your thoughts where are you meant to be yeah definitely just excited excited uh, for what's to come what, what did you show yourself during that bowl game Harris? say that again what, what did you show yourself during that bowl game um i just just showed myself to have confidence in myself um confidence is 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 the best thing for me to have so um showed confidence after the bowl game, after spring ball, what, what was on sort of the to-do list for you this summer in terms of finding improvement? Yeah, um, definitely, like I said, getting my playbook, um, understanding what's going on in our offense, and uh, I'd say getting stronger was, was really big for me. I'm sure it's not always a steady climb or ups and downs when, you know, competing for that left tackle spot. What were some of the highs as you prepared for left tackle? What were some of the lows? Just take me through this journey now that you're the starter after one year. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's bad practices, there's good practices. So kind of um, never getting too high, never getting too low. Um, good practice, stay level-headed. Bad practice, no, no, it's better. It's going to get better. Um, so just kind of staying level-headed and... Uh, yeah. Was there a moment when it was like, I, I can do this, I, I got this, I know I'm ready to be the left tackle on the best seat? Uh, I try to keep that confidence in myself all the time, so, yeah. When the coaches were recruiting you, did they lay out a, a plan, hey, you could be the starting left tackle by a certain time? Like, did they see that for you? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I don't really remember um, exactly what they said, but I know that they had confidence in me, um, and they said that if I came in and worked hard, I'd, I'd have an opportunity to get on the field. What was your own expectation? Did you, did you think you'd have a starting job this quickly? Uh, I, I was I was hoping to. Um, you never know what's going to happen, but I was hoping that I'd come in and work hard and, and be able to earn that. So, yeah. How has how your body strength changed over this last year? Um, I've gained a little bit of weight. Um, I think from the bowl game, I've gained like 13 pounds or 15 pounds. And, uh, yeah. Can you reflect on the recruiting process? I know you were committed to Notre Dame, but now here, it's been one year at USC. You're in a prime position now to have a bigger role. It seems like it all worked out really well for you. Just looking back and reflecting on when you were picking a school, just yeah. how happy are you here? And because, you know, quarterback and offensive line, you're in and you don't get pulled out unless something bad happens. So, yeah. Uh, just how, how do you feel about the whole journey? That Man, definitely blessed. And I thank God every day that I'm here. Um, I, I, I love this place. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, and I mean that. Um, so, yeah, definitely grateful to be here. Yeah. What's it like being coached by uh, Josh and Drew? Oh, it's amazing. It's it's truly a blessing to be able to be coached by a coach like that and a man like that. It's a good dude. So, yeah. What did you learn from last season? The line was sort of up and down. Jonah was consistent, but there were some highs and lows. What did that first year sort of be in the, in the reserve role teach you? Yeah, um, watching those guys was big for me. Um, guys that were having struggles, being able to watch how they handle that, handling it like a pro. Um, like I said, never getting too high, never getting too low. So it was good for me to watch and good to see a guy like Jonah who had who had some great success last year and see how he handled that. So. But on the outside, I think people are more concerned about the depth behind the starting line. Yeah. Who, who do you think is ready to step in if, if you or Mason go down? Yeah, uh, we've definitely got guys. Uh, Tobias Raymond, uh, I think he's a lot farther along than um, people think. He's he's done an excellent, he had an excellent spring camp. Um, and I mean, everybody, Justin, uh, he's a young guy, but he, he's going to be ready. He, he's mentally there and he's, he'll be prepared. Well, what did you kind of see Tobias take that leap? And what was it? In bowl practices or before or after in the spring? Um, I'd say uh, we spent a little bit of time together on the scout team um, last year. So being able to play with him on there, I, I started to see him jump jump from there. And then, uh, yeah, uh, this spring camp, was, it, it showed for sure. Last year coming into fall, Jonah had spent the spring on one side and then flipped. And, yeah. and there were kind of position changes still and from the first game and second game. It feels like it's more set coming in. What, what has that done to you guys kind of playing all spring and, and being able to kind of may, maybe lock in yeah. earlier? It's definitely instilled confidence in us. Um, I think uh, getting that, being able to gel with who you're playing with um, is very important, especially at this position. Um, so it's been great for us.
how much time do you and Emmanuel kind of spend together working on, on that side? I'd say a good amount of time. Um, if you few times just watching film um, this off season. Um, I'd say more it's it's when it's our whole group um, together like this off season um, and then even spending time off the field I'll go get food with him and stuff. Yeah. What's Miller like? Yeah. What's his demeanor? How he kind of commands the offense? Uh, I'd say he, he's, a, he's a great leader. Um, when he's talking, everyone's listening, everyone's doing um, what he says because he knows, we know that he's not going to lead us in the right, right wrong direction. Uh, and yeah, he, he, I mean, all I can say is he's a great leader. Um, he's truly taken over this team in, in, in the best way possible. Do, do you recall back in December how he kind of asserted himself? And um, was, there, was there a moment or a time in front of the team where he talked to you all that kind of stands out? I'd say throughout the whole uh, preparation for the holiday bowl, um, he, he really showed um, that, that he wants this to be his team and he's going to make it his team and, and uh, he's, he's leading us in the right direction. So I'd say throughout the whole holiday, um, bowl prep, um, yeah, it, it, was, it was his team. So. I know you don't want to focus too much on the outside noise, but what do you think the perception of USC is heading into the season? Do you think that's fair? Uh, yeah, I try not to like look into any of that. Um, so I just know what our perception of ourselves are. Um, that we're gonna that we've put in the work and that we'll be ready to go when the time comes. And you guys always kind of go game to game, next game. But when this schedule was released, you remember looking at it and saying, "Oh, that that's a game that kind of stands out to me." Uh, no, I'd, I'd say all the all the games are pretty equal to me. Um, just ready to go for all of them. Who's been tough to block? I, I remember talking to Joan in Indianapolis. He said Anthony Lucas is going to talk to Bob. Who's, who's been tough for you? I'd say the same person, Anthony Lucas. Uh, he'll line up anywhere and he'll, he'll go to work. So um, it's great to have him compete with him every day. So. Anyone else standing out to you on that side of the ball? Um, I mean, Jamil Muhammad, uh, Braylon Shelby. Um, Really, all, Sam Green, a lot, a lot of those guys um, getting after those guys get after the practice. So, yeah. Coach Henson said that your time on the scout team last year was a kind of a crucial sure. leaping point for you. Can you just talk about your reaction to first joining the scout team and and what what made the difference in that time for you? Yeah, obviously, uh, that's not really where you want to be. So uh, my my first thought of it wasn't the best. And then uh, talking to a guy like Jonah, uh, he told me that it's the best thing for me and that I don't know it right now, but um, it, it's going to help me in the long run. So I just listened to him, trusted the process. Um, and I think scout team was awesome because I got reps versus guys like Solomon Bird, reps like against Anthony Lucas, Jamil Muhammad, all those guys. And I'm getting 100 reps of practice against those guys. So I think it was it was very, very, uh, it's good. it was good for me. What does having Jonah in the middle do for you out on the edge and, and really kind of the whole, the whole line? I'd say just him being him being uh, the intelligent guy that he is, uh, him being able to call blitzes, call call whatever he's doing, um, having him in the center, and it, it, it helps me a ton. Yeah. Jonah said that last year 